can an iPhone actually get a virus? Now, if you're on your iPhone and you see something that looks like you might have gotten a virus, or you just want to be safe and look out for the things and do the things to make sure that you don't get a virus down the road, I'm going to walk you through all of that. But first, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, you might have seen something like this when you're browsing around. It says your Apple iPhone is severely damaged by six viruses. And at the very bottom, it says something like install this update or do this to prevent the virus. I'm going to walk you through some examples on why you shouldn't do this and some other examples on when your iPhone might be compromised. So more often than not, when you see something like this on a website, you need to completely close out of it because you don't want to click anything on here. It could actually download malware or a virus onto your iPhone. But you're also going to look out for other things as well. These are really important things to look out for that might compromise your iPhone and increase the likelihood that you do get a virus. Now, let's say you're at an airport and you plug in your phone to have it charged. If it ever says trust this computer and you don't recognize what computer it's talking about or you didn't specifically plug it into your computer, do not ever hit the trust button. That essentially allows that computer or whatever is on the other end of that cable to control your iPhone and gather data from your iPhone, potentially even installing something on there. So that's one thing to look out for, but there are other things to look out for as well. Now, if you do jailbreak your phone, most people don't jailbreak it, and there's not really much reason to do that. But if you do jailbreak it, essentially, it's overriding the iOS Apple operating system and installing a different operating system on your phone. You can see here it significantly increases the risk of malware viruses by bypassing Apple's security protections. Another thing that I would highly recommend looking out for is connecting to a public Wi-Fi. And it says public Wi-Fi is generally not safe due to the risk of hackers intercepting your data through methods like man-in-the-middle attacks or big creating fake networks. This is especially true if you're connected to a public Wi-Fi at the same time that you're checking banking information, you're logging into your bank account to check all of that information. That is really important to not do when you're on a public Wi-Fi. Now, let's say you've gone through all of these examples on why a virus could be installed and downloaded to your phone, but there are five different things that you can do to prevent them from getting onto your phone. The first thing we will do is head into the settings app of your iPhone. And then we'll tap on general towards the bottom here. And then iPhone storage, you'll be able to see iPhone storage here. The first thing we'll look out for are apps that you don't recognize. So go through this entire list of apps and see if there are any that you don't recognize that you installed. For instance, if you tap on, let's say this Resi app, whatever app. If you don't recognize any of these apps, make sure to tap delete and delete the app from your iPhone if you didn't install this from your phone. But let's also check some other things as well. Let's go back out of here and you can see software update. I would highly recommend tapping on software update and at the very top next to automatic updates, you can tap on it and make sure automatically install is turned on. A lot of times if there are specific updates associated with viruses or protecting your phone for viruses or malware, it will automatically install those. So make sure that is turned on and your phone is fully updated. But that's not everything. Let's go back to the very beginning of your settings because a lot of times when viruses are downloaded onto your iPhone, it's through websites that you visited in your browser. So let's scroll to the bottom and tap on apps and then scroll down until you find the app called Safari, your web browser. Now on here, all you need to do is scroll down and you're specifically looking for the option that says clear history and website data. Or if you wanna take it one step further, you can go to the very bottom, tap on advanced and then website data. Now on here, this will show you all of the website data that has been downloaded onto your iPhone. You'd be surprised how much data 
All you need to do is scroll to the bottom and hit remove all website data and remove. This will prevent any, basically, viruses from downloading from a website onto your iPhone itself, especially if you get an example that looks like this, where it says there's a warning about a virus on Safari or on a web browser. Again, go in and delete all of that history and website data to make sure it doesn't download any virus onto your iPhone. Next thing that we will do is we'll go back into the settings app of your iPhone. And it's really important to check to see if there are any configurations that were installed without your permission. So go back to the very beginning of the settings of your iPhone. And from here, all we're gonna do is scroll down, tap on general, and then scroll down to the bottom. You'll be able to see VPN and device management. Tap on that. Now on here, you'll be able to see if you've installed a VPN, but also a configuration profile on here. So a lot of schools and businesses use configuration profiles legitimately, but when they use those configuration profiles legitimately, they get access to your iPhone and basically allow it to control your iPhone. If you have anything on here that you don't recognize that you didn't install, your company didn't install, anything school didn't install, make sure to tap on it and delete it. The last thing I would recommend doing to prevent any kind of virus is going back to the very beginning of your settings. And we're going to tap on your name at the very top. From here, you'll be able to see the second option down is sign in and security. Let's tap on that and make sure that your Apple account is as secure as possible so that no one else will be able to access it. From here, just tap on two-factor authentication and you'll be able to see you can add a trusted phone number or devices. If you don't already have this turned on, just hit add a trusted phone number and then you'll enter in the passcode for your phone here. After you've done that, all you need to do is enter in that phone number. Essentially, this will help prevent anyone from gaining access to your iPhone, to your Apple account, and help prevent any viruses if they may come along.